Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here. Now, the NX as a subject is certainly one seriously spicy biscuit at the moment, and yet we still have very little idea about what this unit might actually be. Portable, home console, hybrid, the possibilities are literally several. So, in an excruciatingly less scientific manner than our last video entitled Everything We Know About the Nintendo NX, here are five things that we'd like featured when we finally clasp our grubby grabbers on the Nintendo NX. Number five, backwards compatibility. We haven't been investing our hard-earned Nintendo fun bucks just for the next console to come along and throw everything that we've worked for out of the window. Luckily, Nintendo's been pretty good on this front recently. Is it too much to expect for the NX to support games from the machine many are calling the Wii U? We don't think so. Number four, a solid, integral operating system. The Wii U and the 3DS both do a fairly decent job of running things, but compared to the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, which both have system-wide features such as friend lists, group chat, and other online and offline features, they're fairly old hat. Achievements, multiplayer parties, and dare I say it, voice chat, all handled outside of the games for maximum versatility would bring a new dimension to the Nintendo experience. Also, connecting online automatically rather than having to go through an annoying text box, that would be super duper. Number three, serious long-term guts. The original 3DS was a pretty old-fashioned effort for its release date. The new 3DS did bring things forward, but we want the NX to be the version of the system that we'll still be admiring 10 years down the line. We may well have to fork out a little bit extra for these souped-up internals, but in the long run it'll prevent us from having to splash out more cash on a small upgrade later down the line. We also most certainly do not want to repeat to the third-party support, or lack thereof, that we saw on the Wii U, and serious internals is gonna make this much easier. Number two physical controls. Yes, yes, this sounds ridiculous, but patents and rumours are hinting that physical controls may be pushed slightly to one side in favour of more touchscreen control. That's great for developers as it frees them from the restrictions of having so many buttons, but say goodbye to muscle memory helping you for pretty much every game you ever own. Anyone who's ever tried to play a game with traditional controls on a smartphone will know what a pain in the potentially portly posterior these are. So pretty please, Nintendo, give us something physical. And finally, number one something we could never predict. Nintendo has always had a habit of throwing us completely off our game and revealing something that absolutely nobody anticipated. Motion controls on the Wii, the Super FX chip in the SNES, the entire sodding DS. They're never ones to back down from the possibility of something new, fresh, funky, and damn right swanky. As much as we all predict and hope for certain features, I believe deep down that we all want to be surprised. We want to be caught off guard, and most importantly, we want to love it. The bar for Nintendo's next console has been set extremely high. Can they achieve what we're all expecting? Well, if anyone can do it, it's Nintendo. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you stay three moves ahead of that subscribe button and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh,